Miss Kidwell here with Alana. We're ready to teach you all some more yoga, so let's get started. All right, we're gonna start first with a new breath. It's called the bear breath. So we're gonna set crisscross applesauce on our mats. Okay, and this one's called the bear breath because you wanna inhale slowly for three seconds, pause and exhale slowly. And when bears hibernate, they slow down their heart rate. And one way they do that is by their breathing. They breathe a lot slower. So we're gonna inhale while we count to three, pause for just a second, and then exhale for a count to three. So I'm going to have you do it first while I count so we can show them what the timing is gonna kind of be like, and then we'll do it together, okay? So you're gonna inhale, one, two, three, pause for just a second, exhale, three, two, one, okay? So a good way to kind of keep count of this, because it's hard to count and breathe at the same time, of course, is to use your fingers. So you go one, two, three, pause, three, two, one, okay? So we're gonna use our hands this time to help us count. We're gonna inhale, pause, and exhale. Do it twice more, ready? Inhale, pause, and exhale. And once more. Pause, exhale. All right, and that was our bear breath. So that's a really good one to kind of calm yourself and relax and get your heart rate lower. All right, next we're gonna do our warm up. We haven't done a yoga pose pattern in a while, so I thought we'd start out with that. So for this pattern, we're gonna start out in the rock. Put your arms out in front of you, your butt down on your legs and your feet. And then we're gonna come up to the table. Then we're gonna do our cow. Look straight ahead. We're gonna tuck our heads in. Look for your belly button for the cat. Now we're gonna tuck our toes in and do the downward dog. All right, so that's our pattern. So let's start again with the rock. Into the table. our pattern once more to warm up. So we're down on the rock, into our table, look up for the cow, look towards your belly button for the cat, and then tuck our toes under, up into the downward dog. All right, so that was our little warm up. Next, we're gonna start out with a new pose, um, and I'll face Alana for it. It's a little bit easier when you're face forward on your mat. All right, and you're gonna sit crisscross applesauce, and this is called the side bend. So we're gonna take our left arm first, put it next to us. We're gonna reach up as we inhale, and you can exhale. Inhale, look up at your arm if you'd like. Feel that stretch a little bit more. And exhale, we're gonna inhale once more, and exhale, come to the center. Now we're gonna put our right arm down. We're gonna inhale, put our left arm up. You can exhale, inhale, look up at your arm, exhale, then we're going to inhale once more, on the exhale come up to the center, alright, and that's our seated side bend. Next we are going to do the table, come back up to your table, and then into our cow, into our cat, tuck your toes into the downward dog. And then we'll actually walk our toes up to our hands if you can. And we're gonna stay folded for the ragdoll. Put your arms, your hands on your elbows and kind of sway back and forth if you'd like. Feel that stretch in your legs and your arms. And then from here, we're gonna slowly come up to our mountain, which is where we just stand tall, okay? And from here, we're gonna do our warrior one. So it's been a little while since we've done that one. We're gonna bring our right leg back into the lunge. We're going to have our right toes pointing out just a little little bit, like a 45 degree angle. All right, and you're going to kind of press into that front leg, that left leg. On the inhale, you want to bring your arms up. Exhale, strong arms like a warrior. All right, and then we're going to inhale, bring our arms up. On the exhale, come to the front of your mat. All right, and we're going to do the other leg now. So we're going to bring our left leg back this time. We're gonna point our toes out a little bit to the left. 
lunge into that right leg on the inhale bring our arms up exhale strong arms like a warrior we're going to inhale bring our arms up one more time exhale come up to the front of your mat all right next we're going to do our warrior two which i'm pretty sure we haven't done this one before so we're going to get into the star where how we would with the, the star we put our feet a little bit further apart than hips length okay and then we're going to lunge to the right okay and if you want you can bring your arms out kind of pretend like you're on a surfboard and you can kind of flow back and forth a little bit to feel that stretch and then we're going to come up center again to the star put your arms down and we're going to lunge towards the left leg so the opposite leg so lunge put your arms up kind of sway back and forth a little bit to feel the stretch and we'll come back up to center again all right so that was our warrior one and our warrior two so stand into your mountain pose from here we're going to do our tree so we'll use our left foot as our kickstand first inhale get your branches ready you can just exhale and inhale here for a little bit and then we're going to grow our branches and our leaves and in fall our leaves will fall all right stand back in mountain pose again and we'll do the right foot this time as a kickstand so bring that foot up you can inhale put your hands up exhale and then our branches and leaves are going to grow and then in fall the leaves fall all right and now we're going to go into our downward dog so if you want to stand back a little bit you can in your mat Tuck our toes up underneath of us into the downward dog. And you can just let this stretch for a little bit. Take a couple breaths if you'd like. All right, and from here, we'll go into our rock. All right, and then our pretzel twist, which we haven't done this one in a little while either. I usually set the opposite way on that, but I'm gonna face you all this time just because it's been a little while since we've done it. So we're gonna take our right arm first onto our left knee, bring our left arm behind us. And you can look back towards your left arm if you'd like. Just feel that stretch for a couple breaths. And when you're ready, you can come back to center. All right, we're gonna do the other side. So we're gonna bring our left arm onto our right knee Bring your right arm behind you. Feel that stretch. Pull it here for a couple breaths. And then come back to center. And from here, we will do our forward fold for our final pose. So we just want to fold forward. Touch your toes if you can. Feel that stretch. And when you're ready to come up, make sure you slowly bring yourself up. Bring your neck and your head up last. All right, good job. Now, lastly, um, well, not lastly, we have two more things. First, we're gonna do our first partner pose, which is something you can do with your mom, your dad, sister, brother, anybody you have at home um, who'd like to do this with you. We're going to slide our mats together. I'm gonna bring your mat up close to your mom. And we're going to do the double tree. So put it together. So this is the partner pose we get to do together. All right. So for this one, we're gonna stand beside each other. We want to you can come a little closer, but we also want to give ourselves some space. So you're gonna take your outside foot and I'm gonna take my outside foot and make it our kickstand. And you're gonna put your palm under mine. Put your palm under mine. Palm under mine. All right, now we're gonna put our outer hand on our hip. Okay, and we're going to inhale, bring our arms up, and exhale, and then you can bring your outer arm out, give you more branches, bring your outer arm up, there you go, and then we can let our leaves fall. All right, and then we're going to do it on the other side, so we'll turn around, so you guys can still see us, and our outer foot again, put your hand on the hip, our palms together, so we're going to inhale, and then we can exhale. Inhale and bring our other arm up. And exhale and let our leaves fall. Then come back to mountain pose. All right, so that's a fun little pose you all can practice together at home. It's a little more difficult because we're such different sizes, but if you have um, a sibling or a parent, 
that you can do it with that's closer to the same height as you, it's a lot easier. All right, and lastly, we're gonna do relaxation. So I'm gonna come up a little closer so you guys can hear me better. And I'm going to read you all a meditation that we're gonna do as our final part of our yoga lesson today. All right. So like we always do, you're more than welcome to lay down, sit down, whatever's the most comfortable for you. Just get comfortable and I will read this off to you guys while you all relax, okay. So I want you guys to close your eyes, maybe take a couple deep breaths before we get started. If you have any wiggles, you can wiggle them out. All right, so I want you to breathe in and breathe out. Just whatever breathing speed feels the most comfortable for you, whatever you feel relaxed. All right, so I want you to breathe and relax each part of your body. Relax your head and your arms, your neck, your shoulders. And continue to breathe slowly, gently, and whatever feels comfortable to you. Now I want you to begin to create a picture in your mind of a place where you can completely relax. Maybe this is some place you've always wanted to go. Maybe it's some place you've been before, your favorite place. I want you to, to start thinking about that place while you're breathing and relaxing. So what does that place look like that you're imagining? Is it a peaceful place? Is it somewhere outdoors or maybe indoors? Um, is it a large place, a small place? Just create the image of what this place looks like in your mind. And just keep breathing in and out, relaxing and comfortable. Now I want you to picture some more details about your peaceful place. Who's in this place? Are you alone or with someone else? Are there animals or birds? Just take some time to take some more breaths while you're thinking about it. Now I want you to focus now on the relaxing sounds around you at your peaceful place. Maybe there's birds chirping, maybe there's a bubbling stream nearby. Just take some time to think about those things while you continue to breathe. Now I want you to think about what this place may taste like or smell like. Maybe this place has your favorite dessert or your favorite cup of hot chocolate. Just think about what those might smell and taste like. Imagine what this may feel like. Maybe the temperature, is there a breeze? Maybe some soft surfaces. Take some time to think about that. While you continue to breathe. Now I want you to think about what the place looks like. So colors, shapes, objects, are there plants? stream, any water, just anything that makes this place enjoyable for you, that you look at and can see. Maybe it's relaxing scenery. Okay, as you picture yourself in this peaceful place, imagine a feeling of calm, of peace, a place where you have no worries or cares or concerns. A place where you can simply rejuvenate, relax, and enjoy. I want you to enjoy your peaceful place for a few moments more. Memorize the sights, sounds, and sensations around you. Know that you can return to this place in your mind whenever you need a break. You can take a mental vacation to allow yourself to relax and regroup before returning to your regular day. I want you to create a picture in your mind that you will return to the next time you need a quick relaxation break. Picture yourself in your peaceful place. The moment you are imagining now, you can picture again the next time you need to relax. And just take a couple more breaths. Whenever you're ready,
ready, you can start to open up your eyes, maybe move around a little bit, and come back from your imaginary place in your mind. All right, good. All right, that's all we have for you all today. We'll see you all again soon. Bye.